Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to give you five ways that you as a graphic designer can use ChatGPT AI or artificial intelligence. All right, let's get started. As a graphic designer, if you're like me, you're always looking for new ways to get better and increase your speed and creativity. With the advent of AI or artificial intelligence technology, there are now tons of ways to do that. Now I know that most of us are kind of afraid of artificial intelligence and what it means for us as creatives. And while I do think it's gonna completely change everything, I don't think we should be fighting against it. I think we should learn how to use it because it could actually help us. So anyway, ChatGPT is completely text-based. I did another video a while back about Mid Journey, which is image-based. And if you wanna check that out, it'll be right up here at the top of your screen. So even though ChatGPT is text-based, it can still help us a lot as graphic designers. So here are five ways to use it. Number one is text generation. ChatGPT can be used to generate creative and engaging text for your designs. You can input keywords and phrases that are related to what you're wanting to do, and it'll make a variety of options for you to pick from. Now, most of us get our texts from a copywriter, and this is someone who is very familiar with our clients. They know what they're looking for, and they're just generally going to do a much better job with text creation than ChatGPT could. But let's say we're trying to sell our digital designs on Etsy, and we don't have a copywriter. We can get ChatGPT to help us write our listings. So let's go ahead and jump over to ChatGPT and test this. So you can just come to chat.openai.com slash chat. And I'll also leave this in the description below so you can get to it quicker. Now you do have to have an account to um, access this tool, but that's free too. Okay, so let's say I'm trying to sell a birthday invitation for a 10 year old girl on Etsy. So I'm just going to type in here, Acting as an Etsy seller, write a 60 word description for a birthday invitation digital file for a 10 year old girl. And here's what ChatGPT has come up with. Celebrate your little girl's 10th birthday in style with our beautiful birthday invitation digital file. And it just goes on and on. The grammar is perfect and it is better than I could do. I'm not a writer though. So at this point, I could just copy and paste this into my Etsy description. The second way you can use ChatGPT for graphic design is by having it generate concept ideas for you. All you have to do is input a description of what you want it to create, and then it will just take it from there. So let's test this. We'll come back over here to ChatGPT, and this time I'm going to say, hey ChatGPT, I need to make a brochure about Sri Lanka. Can you give me ideas and inspiration? So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's saying like, in my brochure, I could feature Sri Lanka cultural highlights, um, the natural beauty, adventure opportunities, local cuisine, um, where it's located. And this really helps, you know, if I didn't know what exactly I wanted my brochure to be like. So for design concepts, ChatGPT really does a good job. Number three is image caption generation. If you have photos that you need to add captions to, you can have ChatGPT do that for you. All you have to do is type in a description of what the photo is about and ChatGPT can give you some options. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, so let's say I have this image and I've got this guy sitting in the sand on a sand dune. So when I go back to ChatGPT, and by the way, I got that image from pexels.com. So this time we're going to say, hey ChatGPT, I need a photo caption. The photo has a man sitting on the sand. He's wearing a shirt and shorts and the sky is blue in the background. It doesn't look like he's sitting on the beach though. Okay, we'll see how ChatGPT does with this. Finding peace in the stillness of the moment away from the chaos of the world. Okay, that's pretty good. But let's say, um, I'm just gonna tell ChatGPT that I think that's boring and see what it comes up with. Okay, so this time it says soaking up the sun, breathing in the salty air. And I'm like, wait a minute. I said it was not a beach. So we'll say, okay, but this isn't a beach. Okay, this time it came up with something I really like. Taking a moment to reflect, surrounded by nature's tranquility, and finding solace and simplicity. So it really does a pretty good job at coming up with captions. The fourth thing you can use ChatGPT for is typography suggestions. So you can tell it what text you want to use in your design, and ChatGPT will give you suggestions on font styles, um, sizes, and colors. So let's test this out. Okay, so this time I'm going to say, 
Acting as a graphic designer, please suggest font styles, sizes, and colors that will enhance the overall look and feel of a design with the words. Taking a moment to reflect, surrounded by nature's tra tranquility, and finding solace and simplicity, which is what it just gave to us for that caption. Let's see how it does this time. Okay, so it's telling us the font style we should use is something that is like a handwritten font, like Great Vibes or Wild Youth. It says the main title could be a larger font size, and then the subtext um, could be a smaller font size. And for colors, they're suggesting soft, calming colors like light green, blue, or beige. And to make the text stand out, a contrasting color would be good. So yeah, I think as a graphic designer, um, those are pretty good suggestions. The fifth thing you can use ChatGPT for is developing a brand voice for your branding project. So for this, you would want to input like the key characteristics of your brand, and then it will suggest kind of a range of styles that you could use. So let's see how it does. Okay, so I'm telling it acting as a copywriter. Please give a range of tone and style suggestions for the design work for my brand. My brand's name is Zava Coffee, and our colors are light blue, tan, and dark brown. We see ourselves as adventurous and fun-loving, but we care deeply about the earth, conservation, and fair trade. So ChatGPT is taking it all in, and here are some tone suggestions. For adventurous, we could use a bold and energetic tone that conveys the brand's spirit of adventure and excitement environmentally conscious, rustic and earthy for style, and we can make it playful and lively by using hand-drawn illustrations or typography. And then the color palette, um, they are suggesting we should also add earthy shades like green and brown. So those suggestions are really pretty good, but I'd like to see some actual copywriting examples. So I'm going to get ChatGPT to give us some. Okay, so I'm just saying, great, can you give us some examples? Okay, so they're giving us some examples of how to use the logo, package design, website design, and social media posts. But I was looking for more copywriting examples. So I'm gonna type that in. Okay, so they came up with a slogan, adventure awaits one sip at a time. That is pretty good. So yeah, it's given us different copy for certain applications. And I have to say it is pretty good. It's better than I could do. As I said, I'm not a copywriter. So these five ways of using ChatGPT are really just a starting point. There are probably tons of other ways that we as graphic designers can use this tool. So let me know in the comment section below if you are using ChatGPT in any way, whether it's for work or just for your own personal stuff. And how are you using it? All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.